Alright everybody, I got one of these so hopefully it's all entirely in frame. It's a um, old ex-police, sort of British um, police stab proof and combined bulletproof vest. Uh, basically I ended up getting one just because the area I'm living in is getting a bit rougher and um, I wanted just to take a sort of precaution because with, in terms of body armour, what I have before is the um, Northern Ireland British Army flak jacket which is much better than nothing, but it's not as good as modern Kevlar because it's ballistic nylon, which is pretty tough stuff, but it's designed against, you know, inaccurate shrapnel uh, or poorly, poorly formed shrapnel, sort of travelling at high speeds, not necessarily a proper edged weapon or a bullet. And I also had, which I use in those videos, the Kevlar panel with the combined stab proof front. Um, I could fit that into this jacket if I wanted to, but obviously that's just a panel and I've shot holes in it. Um, and basically when I go to work and back every day after I get off the bus there's quite a lot of sort of, uh, I, would, I would say homeless but I don't think a lot of them are, but you know just junkies, crackheads, sort of more and more of them every sort of month in doorways begging for money, some of them getting quite aggressive and you never know if they're going to try and stab you a needle, stab you, you know uh, something if you don't give them money, obviously they never do give them money um, but it makes you sort of think, hmm, how safe am I if some, you know, nut job pulled a knife on me? So, what I ended up getting is this. Um, I was having a look on eBay and Amazon. And you can basically get two things in the UK. How when I say two things, there's multiple things. But you can get sort of quite expensive, um, brand new bulletproof or stab resistant jackets, which are very good. But the price range is sort of close to 300 quid for the very good ones. And I was thinking, would I need one, especially a new one like that? Or you can do what I did and get old police issue ones, which are sold as surplus, the same as riot helmets. Get one in a good grade, this cost me just under 50 quid. Um, and with courier service today, which is very good from DPD, that was about 50 quid. So, very pleased with this. Um, I checked the panels, everything inside is really good, in really good condition. Um, no smells to it or anything, looks like it's barely been used. Um, so, yeah. I thought what I wanted as well was something that I could fit a coat under. So if you think if I'm wearing a thick winter coat, that I go over the top of this because I don't want to draw too much attention to the fact I'm wearing a stab vest in case you know somebody calls the police on you or something stupid for it. It's perfectly legal to own and wear one, but you might get weird looks from people. So that's the reason why, as I was saying, I've you know um, got um, want to wear a coat over it. Um, so it's quite lightweight. I'd say it's only a kilo or two. Um, and you've got nearly full round protection with this one. Your armpits are vulnerable there. Um, somebody could probably get at sort of your chest there through the arm sockets. I went for um, the 38, 38 inch chest size one uh, for me and the medium length one I think it was, which is for up to people I think about five foot nine and about five foot seven, five foot eight. So this comes pretty much directly to where my waistline may maybe minus half an inch. So that's a very good fit. Um, I was pleased. I was a bit worried ordering one online would it fit, and I was looking for a lot of online suppliers on eBay and stuff to find one that was in stock of a similar vest to this, because there was other ones I looked at, but they weren't actually in the size I wanted. You know, you'd get ones that were the right chest size, but then they'd be too long or too short, or vice versa, too small or too big a chest. And I guess that's the stock they get left in the most is the odd sizes. Um, so yeah, this one's pretty much an uh, ideal fit for somebody who's about five foot seven, five foot eight, medium build. Um, fits me very well. As I said I will be able to wear a coat over this, which is the main point. So, getting back to the vest, you've got your armour all around pretty much. Not armour here either, so if somebody stabbed down on your shoulder, they could do it there. Um, armour back. I was saying you can wear head, get thicker ones, but then they're not as um, good for basically uh, you know concealed use. And I only wanted a very basic stab proof. This is combined sort of pistol caliber bullet protection, uh, level 2 Kevlar. But I didn't want, you know, anything more than that for what I was wearing. Because if there's going to be a terrorist attack and somebody's got a Kalashnikov, you're screwed, aren't you? Really, even if you had a level 3 vest on, the force of the bullets hitting you is going to knock you over. And at that point they'll shoot you in the head or whatever when you're on the ground. So it's not for terrorist protection, it's from, you know, mugger sort of protection, really. Um... What I was saying about other vests you can get, you can get ones on eBay that come direct from China, but I don't know how good they'd be, and when I was looking at some of the photos of them, even if the stab protection is good enough, a lot of them seem to have very weak sort of shoulder pieces, not as in stab protection, because this one doesn't have that, but where I was sort of thinking, 
you know, how long is the vest, if the vest weighs a bit, how long are the, like, these bits going to last before they rip, and then you've got like a front and back panel. Um, so there's basically the main zip up section on this, and you've got two connectors you Velcro together to give you the sort of lower chest protection, sort of abdomen protection. Uh, front and rear main plate, although one of them's a slightly weird shaped one, so it covers, you know, the two side bits, but... Basically, against pistol level bullets that aren't sort of very hot loads, as in high pressure loads, with sort of, I guess, jacketed um, sort of AP heads, you should be fine. And against stab protection, you should be fine. You can get vests that are further reinforced than this, but again, they become not very concealable and more bulky. Sort of, you know, the much heavier ones you'd wear over all your clothes, uh, where this is, I'm going to wear it under a coat, and when I get to work, I can put it in my locker. But this is, you know, just really for. I've, obviously nobody's ever pulled a knife on me before but I've had a few confrontations and you think really I ought to protect myself a bit so this gives you a much better chance than if you had nothing on but really you're gonna when you see a dodgy person sat, you know shouting to himself in an alleyway you don't you walk around and you don't you know confront them anyway so this is just a bit of extra protection for me um, I will see if I can find the name of this exact vest but it's just an old police issue one and said in very good condition, very happy with it for 50 quid if it saves your life. I mean, that's a really good investment. If not, you've just got, um, I mean, I like collecting stuff like this anyway. doesn't take up much space because when it's unzipped, you just put it flat. You know, you can fold it. When the courier delivered it, it was just in a sort of, you know, bag. Sort of, not a bin bag, but, you know, one of those sort of parcel plasticky bags that you could put a shirt in. And once you've got, you could actually put this on a coat hanger, I imagine, and hang it up somewhere if you really wanted to, but... So if you compare it to the size of that flak jacket I have, it's very sort of slim compared to that because it's Kevlar. It doesn't need to be as thick as ballistic nylon to do the same job. So no neck protection either. As I said, I wanted a concealable one. You, you can get these in all shapes and sizes if you really wanted one. You can get bulkier ones with neck protection, better arm protection, but they restrict mobility and you have to wear it over a coat. I wanted, as I said, something that you could just wear a jacket over and be fine with, which you really could with this. So... There you go, uh, this is an old police issue, sort of combined, bulletproof against pistol bullets, stab proof against um, sort of knives and things. It has basic protection from um, sort of spiked weapons, but it's not one of the proper spiked weapons jackets. Again, you need a thicker one with sort of plates in it for that. Feeling this, it feels like there could be plates on the Kevlar in places like here, but I'm not too sure. But regardless... It should do its job I want it for, and I hopefully never need it, but you never know. So there we go. Let's show you that a bit closer. That's the sort of old police issue stab-proof vest.